In this multiple choice question, I have a polynomial in general where a, b, and c are all positive numbers. And I want to know if I change that polynomial so that a is now negative, which of the following parameters will change? So let's look at my original function a little bit closer. So if I have x minus b squared and x plus 1 to the exponent of 1, I know that 2 plus 1 equals 3. The degree is 3. So I know that this is a cubic polynomial. Now since a is positive, my leading coefficient, I know it's a cubic, so the arms go in opposite directions. I know that one arm is going to be pointing down, the other arm pointing up. So let's just do a rough sketch of what this graph could look like. I'll go to my factor here of x minus b squared. Now I know b is a positive number, so a factor of x minus a number has an x-intercept that is positive. So I know my x-intercept is going to be on the positive side. Now I know it's squared, which means it's a touch and turn around at that point. So let's connect the dots. Perhaps this part of the graph might look like that. If I have a factor of x plus c, where c is a positive number, if my factor is plus c, then my x-intercept is negative c, so somewhere along the negative value. So I just have to connect these two parts of the graph. So here I must have some sort of turnaround, and then I could just keep decreasing. So this would show my arms in opposite directions with that parameter. Now looking at this, I know that my domain is x is an element of the reals, as is my range. I know that I have two x-intercepts, one positive and one negative x-intercept, and I have a y-intercept, in this case here, that is positive. So if I were to change a to be negative, this graph would be vertically reflected. So I would have a vertical reflection. So let's talk about what would change. So points on the x-axis would stay the same because the y value is 0. And when I multiply 0 by negative 1, it stays as negative. So I know my x-intercepts are not changing. Now I know that this graph here looks like this, a touch and turn around where it's a minimum. So when I reflect it, it would be a touch and turn around that's negative. This part here that's passing through down to the negative, when I reflect it, will be passing through in the positive. Now, to connect these pieces of the graph, I'm going to take my y-intercept and reflect that. So I know that my graph would look something like that. So what changes, not the domain and range, because the arms extend infinitely in both directions, covering all x and y values, the thing that does change is the y-intercept. In our case, it went from being positive to being negative. So the answer to number 11 is D.